doing stuff like Newsdays and Newsweeks is pretty much a microcosm to what it is like in the real industry. We learn the skills, we uh, learn how to use them and how to analyse and reflect upon our skills and then we implement them into those news days and news weeks. We all go out with our equipment, we film packages, come back, edit it all, make sure it's polished and we get everything out there. The facilities were pretty much the main reason I actually came to this university. The fact that we have a newsroom, a TV studio, a radio studio and a self-operating TV studio as well makes it so much fun. We get to play with all the crayons and the colouring box. We get to experiment and how we illustrate our stories and it just gives us more tools in our toolbox so it is a great thing to have. We are BJTC accredited. New students alongside the BJTC accreditation they get the NCTJ. So overall if you, if you have both of those under your wing you are a fully qualified journalist so you're ready to go out to the world, ready to work. Outside studying and learning skills from my course, me and a couple of friends really wanted an outlet for us to truly express ourselves beyond journalism. So we started this magazine called For Read Design. My lectures are amazing. I always go to them with so many questions. I'm like, oh, I don't know how to do this. And they guide me. So having that mentorship and that guidance really helps me lead the society and lead the magazine to grow. Never in a million years would I have imagined that I would be at the stage that I am at the moment. Anything is possible if you actually put your mind into it and having that support from my uni really did help.